Hello once again, Nerds Internet, Sub the Nintendo Universe Radio here back, and this video is brought to you by my patrons, actually. And I really do gotta thank them this time around because of computer stuff that's been going on. Some of you guys know my situation where I'm not exactly gonna be uploading super regularly anymore, or at least for the time being. Uh, because my computer had some problems because I'm an idiot. But anyways, as far as the Patreons, we got my boy Borked Leg. We got my boy Trey, aka Variant Vision on Twitch. And we have uh, the Pie Loving Nerd as well as Blitz Maniac. So seriously, seriously, seriously thank you guys so, so much for your support. It means an absolute lot, especially some of you guys I know freaking personally. So the fact that you guys are willing to help me to this extent for what I do and what I like to do, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, now for the video, uh, I do want to say I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in a little bit more than a week. Again, computer problems, but I promise I'm doing my best every single day to get them out of the way so I can go back to uploading daily like I used to. Uh, but as for the news today, as you guys could probably figure out from the title by now, we got some news that there is going to be a multiplayer mod for Zelda, and I think that's actually insane. Now some of you may have heard about this already because it's not exactly the newest topic on Nintendo News right now, but it's still something that I feel like is worth talking about because multiplayer in a Zelda game certainly sounds interesting, and we've had a really, like, I would say a really fun multiplayer Zelda come out, and that was, um, what's it called, Triforce Heroes. I think that game was really freaking fun, uh, from the little I've played of it, mind you. But I still think it was fun as heck, really good cooperation there. I've seen people have extreme fun with it, and seeing how people are working on a multiplayer mod for Breath of the Wild, I think that's pretty freaking cool. Um, but sadly, there is some, like, bad news to this. Uh, the mod will not be able to load on a Switch or a Wii U. So how do we know this works? It runs on a Simu emulator, so this does mean you're gonna have to need, you're gonna need a fairly strong uh, Wii U emulator, as far as a like fairly strong computer to run that Wii U emulator and to run Breath of the Wild. Um, and not only that, but the mod will take roughly a year to develop as of now. But I still think the idea is interesting, and I'm definitely willing to look back on this mod uh, as it progresses, as they're able to show more footage. Really can't wait to see what they do with it. I wonder if they're going to add anything super, super different with there being two links. I highly doubt they're going to change the story or anything, but I still think they could add something a little bit here and there, like kind of acknowledging that there's two links. Anyways, I think it'll be really cool. What do you guys think of the mod yourselves? Tell me in the comment section below. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe in my future videos, I'll start doing weekly wrap-ups instead of... Uh, you know, like one news video per week, like one news topic per week, just so it feels like you guys are actually getting something out of my videos instead of just, you know, one news topic a week. Uh, so if you guys like the weekly wrap-up idea, please tell me in the comment section below as well as your opinions, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, click the like button. If you guys want to stay more updated with more Nintendo news as often as I can get it out, please do click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, Nerdio is out.